Sound Design. All right, so in the last video, we picked high pass filters for both of our drivers here, and now we just have one more to choose. I want some kind of a starting filter to put in a low pass filter for my sub. So if I want these two to be matched and have a, you know, a matching final result between electrical and acoustic filters, one thing I can do is just measure my low mid driver because it already has a response here. So I'm going to mute my sub and head over to my mid driver here. And in the last video, some of you probably noticed that I did the thing that I told you exactly not to do in a past video, which is I'm doubling down on filters. This already has, you know, an acoustic response of something like uh, 12 dB per octave, and I'm adding another filter on top of that. But in this case, I'm adding it exactly where the manufacturer has told me to do it, and, and there's really no way of escaping this, you know. The manufacturer has suggested between 60 and 80 dB, so no matter where I put it, I'm gonna be doubling down on filters. But that's okay, because now what I'm gonna do is measure this final response, and so I can have a target for where my low pass filter on my sub needs to be. So, um, over here in memories, I have stored this. I'll just um, take this off. So you can see I've stored the response of my mid driver here. I'm gonna mute that. And you saw me do this trick in a previous video where now I've added another channel here just so I can measure the electrical response. So we'll look at the electrical response of a filter here so I can see what this roll off is. Okay, so I need to make an offset here, obviously, so that these are on top of each other. So it's probably 50. something like, okay. And then I just need to bump it down a little bit. And now I can grab this filter and move it around and uh, try to find what is the roll off that we ended up here. Okay, so right now we have a Butterworth 42 dB Proctor filter, so that's too steep. So let's go down to 36. That's also too steep. Let's go to 30. And we're getting closer. I'm, by the way, I'm just looking at this area here, not so much at this transition area up here, but really just when we get into the control um, of both filters down here. Um, and to me, that could be right, but let's look at something a little bit less 24. And I think that's it. So it looks like to me that what we ended up here with um, in the high pass response of our mid driver is a 24 dB per octave result. So what do we do with that? Well, let's just write that down at first. So here's our sub. And you may remember from a previous video that we took a look at a filter on top of the sub and it's not gonna be the same now, but we discovered that this sub has a natural roll off of about 12 dB per octave. Okay, so if we want a final result that is 24 dB per octave, then what electronic filter do we need to add to this acoustic um, result to get 24? We have a um, you know an acoustic roll off of about 12 dB per octave. So we need to add an electrical filter. We need to add another 12 dB per octave because 12 plus 12 equals 24. Okay, that's all I was getting at is that now we have uh, an idea of what our low pass filter should be on our sub. It's probably going to be uh, something like a 12 dB per octave filter. 12 plus 12 equals 24. And now if we unmute this guy, and maybe it would help for me to zoom out a little bit. Now this filter is not in the right place, um, but hopefully we can see here that we have a, a pretty good match of our slopes here. They're not too dissimilar. So it seems like we're in a good starting place. Hey, I forgot to mention that, of course, we can verify the result that we got. Is this the 24 dB per octave roll off that we wanted? So I just stored uh, a picture here of the sub in our memories. And then now we're just looking at the electrical response of a filter on top of it. And so now I can drag this down. This is a 24 dB per octave Butterworth. Did we get a 24 dB per octave result? I think so. To me, this looks close enough. Um, if I go down to 18, I think that's not quite steep enough. 
and if I go up to 30, to me that looks too steep. So um, I think we did hit 24 dB per octave. Um, so we have validated our, our result here. So that's how you can get a starting point for the topology of your crossover filter. And in the next video, I think we'll look at the level offset. Sound design. Yeah.